Hi, I am back with another project and we are starting off by making our background. Now the first color I am putting down is a watercolor from Sennelier and it's greenish amber. And the second color I will be putting down is the neutral tint from Sennelier. Just spraying some water on my plastic sheets and also on my paper to make sure that my colors will move and blend real nice. You can see I have some hard edges and I don't want that so I'm using some water to dissolve them and by looking at it I thought it was too dark so I'm taking off most of the color by using this paper towel. It will leave just a tiny bit of color and that will be my first layer. So for the second layer I will be using only greenish umber and I will be doing exactly the same as for my first layer. Again I have those hard edges so I'll be spraying some water on top of it again. I really like the greenish umber but it's a bit too dark. Now I don't want to take off as much color as I did the first time so I will give my color some time to get into the paper to settle down. So I'm waiting a bit before I put my paper towel on top of it to take away most of the color. And now for the last layer I'm just putting down the leftover of my paint, not using any more water. For this project I'm using the Learn to Fly again from Visible Image because I really wanted to do something with these words. Now as I'm working on texturized um, watercolor paper I'm really pushing down every part of my stamp to make sure I'll get a crisp image when I'm using my embossing powder. And I'm taking off most of the ink and I'm masking off these two sentences now so I can ink up the rest of my words and heat emboss them. And I'm just putting down a tiny bit of powder to make sure that the Versa mark that is left doesn't stick to my paper too much. Now you'll see when I put on the powder, it has been sticking a tiny bit, but that's not a problem because you can take it off using a brush.
I'll be using this wool bonding powder for the very first time and because I'm not sure if I'll do it right the first time I'm using my Misty so I always can come back and stamp my bird again on exactly the same place Hard to see on the screen probably, but my bonding powder is everywhere. I have a perfect stamped bird and I'm getting ready to put on my metal foil. Now I know you have to work quickly, so I'm getting everything within reach. Heating up my powder until it's melted and I'm immediately putting on top my metal foil and pressing it down. And yes, it's hot. Now for some reason it didn't work. I had a perfectly stamped bird, I had bonding powder everywhere. I think I was pretty quick, but it didn't glue everywhere. Now I'm going to fix it by using this PBO glue and a brush and I'm going to cover the entire bird. Now you will see when you put it on it's white, but you just have to let it uh, sit there and become clear and then you can put your metal foil on top of it to glue it down. And then the final step, adding some shading. <laughs> 